Hello, welcome back. In today's video we will be talking about date visualization filters. So let's see how to apply them on our data. Here in front of us we have several KPIs. Also below we have one table. Now let's click on this table here. If we check this setup section, if we scroll down a bit, we will be able to find default date range section. As you can see we have this first option checked, which means that we are using all available dates. Now how can we change that? We can click on this custom option here. If I click on that, I will be able to see another option. If I click on this auto date range, I will be able to see my default date range. Let's choose January 1st and then 1st September. Let's click on apply. And now our table is being filtered. Let's do it one more time. Instead of this date, let's provide, for example, 2021, January 1st, for example. Let's click on apply. And as you can see, for this period of time, we don't have any data. Let's try to change it to 2020 first. And then here I'm going to be changing to 2022, for example, January 1st. And also here we will be using January 1st. Let's click on apply. And for this period of time, we have data available. Excellent. What is important to mention? We can do the same also for this KPI here. If I click on this KPI, if I go to setup section, if I scroll down, I will be able to find my custom option. Let's click on auto date range. And now instead of choosing dates manually, we have this auto date range option. Let's click here. And here we will be able to find some interesting options. For example, we can present only data for last 30 days. If I click on this, if I click on apply, I will be able to see only data for previous 30 days. Also, let's check other options. In this case, as you can see, we have last 30 days, but not including today. If I check this box, I will be also including today. Let's uncheck this and let's check other options. We have also today, yesterday, this week, last week, this month, month to date, last quarter, Last year, let's check this option. So we will be able to see for 2023. Let's click on apply. And basically now we are able to see total sales for that period of time. With this, I'm going to conclude this lesson. Thank you for watching.